So what we're really interested in doing is uh, we're trying to understand how materials behave under dynamic loading conditions. And that has applications right from sort of automotive crashes right through to bullet impacts on armour and even further into the sort of extreme loading um, conditions where you start to see meteorite striking uh, structures which could range from the International Space Station uh, and um, in collisions with planetary bodies and, and that type of thing. Well, one of the things that we've got here is what's called a two-stage gun and this happens to be the fastest gun in the southern hemisphere. It's able to fire projectiles to four and a half kilometers per second. So if you think of a high velocity rifle, uh, such as the, the Steyr, which is uh, currently being used by the Australian Defence Force, that will fire a projectile around about 920 meters per second. This gun, this will fire a projectile at 4,500 meters per second. So it really is, it's almost an order of magnitude higher than the velocity that's offered from a conventional high velocity rifle bullet. Uh, Armour has changed over the years in a, in a number of ways. That, that you know, as, as the years go by, we're developing uh, more resilient, stronger, harder materials that um, can resist penetration from a whole range of projectiles, and not just things like small arms bullets fired from a high velocity rifle, uh, but uh, from explosively formed projectiles, from IEDs, from shaped charges. Um, and, and those types of things. So, so we're looking at a whole range of protective applications uh, for, for uh, in that space. Uh, so currently we are using two uh, you know, uh, high-speed cameras to capture the impact event. So we use uh, our velocity sensor to tr trigger the camera just before the imp impact. And uh, you know, uh, this worked very well for our previous test and we are confident with this technique. Yeah, I would say HPV X2 might be the fastest, uh, you know, uh, high-speed camera in Australia, and uh, it is very helpful for high-speed impact tests. And uh, you know, we can capture the whole event, analyze the deformation and failure behavior of materials during the impact process.